Welcome to the Parish Church of St Lawrence Ludlow. We're an inclusive church and for over 800 years this has been a sacred place, a house of prayer. Each year we welcome and offer hospitality to around 100,000 visitors and pilgrims. Our story starts over 2,000 years ago. It begins with a cross. In the medieval period, rich merchants built this great church as an outward sign of that cross and of their faith. Today, as a living Christian community, we continue to proclaim the good news of the gospel. We also have a vision for the future, which you can hear more about in just a minute. You're welcome to join us for worship. Daily services take place in the morning and late afternoon, and there are often prayers on the hour, and a chaplain may be on duty. Each Sunday, there are usually three services, including two with our choir. You can find details on the weekly pew sheet. Just ask a steward. As you walk around the building, you might like to take a moment to light a candle, pause, reflect, and say a prayer. We do hope you enjoy your visit today. As you walk round, you'll find information boards in English. We also have a range of guidebooks, including foreign language guides and guides to the glass and misery cords. We even have an audio guide, which you can download onto your phone or tablet using our free Wi-Fi. Don't forget also to visit our gift shop, where you can also buy coffee. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can climb the tower for spectacular views. Now for a glimpse at our history and some things not to miss on your visit. St Lawrence's was founded in the late 12th century. We're not sure how the church looked precisely, but it was almost certainly a large building for its time. Over time, the church grew steadily as the town prospered. By the mid-15th century, the town had grown very wealthy from the wool trade and a major programme of rebuilding and extending the church was undertaken. By the late 15th century, the church had grown to be one of the largest parish churches in England, richly adorned with stained glass, timber fittings and covered in bright wall paintings. During the Reformation and the Civil War, much decoration and fittings were lost, but our greatest treasures, the stained glass and timber screens, canopies and misericords, survived. In the 18th century, a fine organ built by John Snetzler was placed in the church by the Earl of Powys and galleries filled the nave. In the 19th century, Sir George Gilbert Scott carried out extensive repairs and provided a new floor and pews in the nave. As you go round the church, you can see many jewels in our crown. Things not to miss include the medieval stained glass, which can be found in the two chapels and the chancel at the east end of the church. The five medieval timber screens, altar canopy and misericords, also at the east end. We have a number of interesting paintings, such as the Royal Arms and Ten Commandments. You can also see remains of the brightly coloured wall paintings. We have a special collection of 19th century textiles, including altar frontals and a parish banner. In the north transept, you can see the famous organ. A DVD can be purchased from the shop. Don't miss our famous clock and carillong mechanism. You can hear the carillong bells ring at 8 a.m., 12 noon, 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. During Advent, Christmas, Lent and Easter, they also ring at 10 a.m., 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. Repairing and conserving this national treasure is very costly. The church community needs to raise and spend on average £80,000 per year through donations, grants and legacies. In recent years, we've achieved a vast range of works which include conservation of paintings, monuments, stained glass, bells and the organ. We've also installed new heating and lighting, making the church warm and light. And most importantly, we carry out constant repairs to stonework and roofs to keep the building watertight. If you'd like to know more about our plans for the future, our vision, keep watching this video for more details in just a moment. We do hope you enjoy your visit to this special and unique church. It costs on average a thousand pounds per day to secure, maintain and run this church. You can help us by making a donation, either by cash or by text via Just Giving. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and review us on TripAdvisor. May God grant you every blessing to you and those whom you love. Our beautiful and magnificent church has always served the needs of the local community. In recent years, we have introduced a kitchen and toilets. The church is used by over 30,000 people in a variety of events. 
We have over 30 concerts per year, some of which are broadcast internationally. We even have regular toddlers groups. To better serve the needs of the community, we have plans to improve our facilities, particularly in the nave, the main body of the church. This will involve removing the pews, replacing the crumbling floor and installing an improved kitchen, toilet and shop. The nave was historically the people's place and it's really important to us that the community has access to it. You can find out more about our plans by taking a vision newspaper. We hope that by opening up the nave and providing better facilities, more people will be able to enjoy using this incredible historic space. At the same time, we continue to carry out much needed conservation to secure our precious heritage for future generations. Our future plans include restoring the clock and carillon at ground floor level as part of our visitor experience, carrying out much needed conservation to our historic collection of timber fittings and delicate stained glass. We also need to continue to repair roofs and stonework so that this building is watertight. You can find out more by following us on Facebook or Twitter, or even looking at our website. Maybe you can help us in some way. <laughs>